ago. We did a more. Then, but you have a share with the Monica Clark, with the Minion Mavan. It is the trouble yet, the Biffy and I have a more. They have a via. Okay. Ago. Amen. The raw material for getting the pumpkin oil, the primary is this one, the palm tree. On it, this front I cut, and then the fruits bed at the top. But this is not bearing fruits again, so there are no fruits on it. So when it's cut, they take it from here, there. From the fresh one that I showed you yesterday, then you boil it. After boiling it for several hours, it softens, and then you put it in the mortar and you pound. But when you are doing a cottage industry like this, they do they manufacture small machines, implement equipment, small equipment to be able to aid them to do more. Because when they are using the manpower with a the mortar, they can only do little or few. So we go in, then from here, the first thing they do with it is to produce the palm oil. After producing the palm oil, they don't throw the nuts away, they leave the nuts to dry. When the nuts are dry, these are the nuts. When they are dry, they are cracked. The crack in the Olden days, they, they crack them on stones, like this. Put it there. Mm. So, the crack this way, because it's edible. You can eat it. As they crack this, they put all these nuts together in a bowl and pour them in a pan. Let's see how they crack it. With a simple machine, this is the old metal. I cool. So they bring it here to the mill to crack. To crack them here. As it crack here, they come and take the sieve it to get the nuts. To get the nuts. Okay. All right, hold on, slow down, brother. Um, I wanted to find out about these machines right here. Okay. Just trying to get a full demonstration, full clarity of the whole process. Okay. Now, as the nuts are dry, they bring them to the cracker to that's, crack the nuts. So that's what it is, a cracker. So that's what they're doing now. The cracker cracks it. Yes. After it cracks it, they put them in this. In these bowls. Mm. Then they take them out, they seal it and take the nuts out. They take the nuts out and then we go to the next stage of getting the oil. Okay, cool. so, so. The manufacturing process family. What the stuff? Who are you going there to Alright. But now they are going there. Ah, okay. Now. Hold on, first. Hold on, first. There must be a lot of trees right there. <laughs> it's a whole harvest. Now, from there, from the cracker, they bring them here. So come and pour it here, and then proceed it. Now, this nut, 
are not needed. They are not needed any longer. What they are looking for is this, the nut. Mm -hmm. All of that for this? <laughs> it's all of that for that. <laughs> and the good, the good, yeah, the good parts are usually on the inside. Oh, okay. This is what they are looking for. Okay. So what they do is, in order for them to get it easy, they are going to soak all this. So we come here. They are soaked in this uh, empty barrels. Empty barrels with water because this they have not done it yet. So they are soaked in this in order for them to easily take the nuts. So when it's done, they are just this does the process of drying the nuts, drying it. So it's, they keep spreading it for it to dry well. Now when they do all this, now they'll put it in those bowls here. And boil. Then they'll take this nuts back to the mill. This time, not to the cracker, but to another mill which will turn this nuts. We turn this nut into paste. The paste is black because when they boil them, the nuts turn black. So it's black, but it looks like peanut butter. Well, that stage, they carry it and pour the butter into this big pot. Then they leave it. They start boiling it, boiling it over and over and over and over and over. Okay. As they boil it and it's getting yeah, the heat, then the oil starts coming up. Little, so the manufacturers or the ladies will start scooping the oil mm -hmm. from it. They'll scoop and scoop and scoop until it stops coming then is that then from there they bottle it and then they sell it yes so this is how you get the palm kernel oil okay. that's not the only oil we have in Ghana we also have the coconut oil but this areas they don't do the coconut oil they do the coconut oil in the western region Product and all this went nice. into right, right. Mm -hmm. right, excellent, bro. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, does anybody have any questions for Nana? So, Nana, yes, would you say just to summarize it, how many steps are, are we talking about just to get to the final before the final product? We're talking about five different steps, five different steps, yes. And with those five different steps, if you don't have the cracker and you don't have the meal, then it makes the work a bit more difficult because you need to uh, use stone to crack the nuts and separate the nuts from the skin or this one from the nut itself. You get the nut, the skin is hard, so you have to separate. So it's very difficult. But when you have the cracker, it makes it a bit easy for you to get your oil on time. So five steps okay. that can make you get your uh, palm kernel oil. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, a lot of people have shined the usage of this oil, but now they are realizing that it is even the better of all the oil that are manufactured. So simply way of getting your the strong scent, if you don't like the scent out, is just putting in onion. Put some onion into it when it's boiling, and then that scent will get out. Will be out. It's very labor intensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they've been doing this this type of uh, 
this type of way of, of, of um, getting the palm kennel oil for a long, long time, would you say 20 years, 30 years, this method has been in place? This method has been in place even before method, right? I was born. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Before I was born, <laughs> it's been in Give place. Give me a time Long, No, I can because oh. it's been there for ages. Okay, okay. This act of getting this oil has been there for ages. The method. My, okay. I, I can even say my mom came and made the process of doing it. Mm -hmm. My grandmother came to me this, so it's a way of doing yeah, doing it. So uh, it is not everything Europeans have brought to Africa. So this are all indigenous we have before they came in we have our um wines or appetite and everything one minute we have our appetite which even the europeans see the strongness of their appetite what's the appetite i explain it on the appetite is a form the alcohol, of the raw alcohol that you don't want to drink they make you oh. It's like yeah. liquid sea. Oh, okay. So this appetite is stronger than the Russian vodka or any vodka you know. Oh, my yes, I would disturb you. Man, you know. Wait, wait, wait. You come Because of that, the Europeans ban the sale of appetite, make it an illegal, the British colonial, make it illegal, just to promote their imported gin into the system. So at the point, appetite was illegal to sell, because not everybody was going for that. So the European did not bring everything to Africa. Most of the students are here before. It's only because a lot of people will say in Ghana, modernity. So I will not do this, I will not eat this. But this, when you take a look at people in the rural areas, they are more stronger, they have more strength, and they live older than the people in the city. Because they walk in, the city in and will out, kill you. miles into the farm, we uh, come back, sometimes rain with barefoot, that gives them the image that they are black to be working all the time. So, thus, no white man taught any man to do this. The only thing, what they're going to do is, they're going to they're gonna modernize your, exactly. your, your, you know, your foundation of what you're doing. It's yeah. just like instruments and yes. things like that. So, yeah. and, that's and, the key and thing. In order, for the, for 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 them to promote their businesses, they'll tell you this is not good. Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah. They'll tell you this is not good. So no, don't eat it. That's what they'll tell you. <laughs> but it's good. Okay. So that's it, brother. We we'll appreciate you, brother. Mm. All right. So let's get back on the bus and continue our journey. A Kubi gonna get your scoop on. You gonna get the scoop yeah. on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I didn't know you were good at manual labor. Some of us, hey, 99.999 African. That's right. 99.99 African. That's right. Back to my roots, baby. That's right. No shame in my game. And there you go, family. The journey for lifetime continues. That's right. Nigga up here. Eat this. <laughs> Eat this, nigga up here. Yeah, we got to come out for <laughs> Anything else you want to share before we close? Ghana is a good life. We have to leave. We have to come back home. We have to come back home. Come back to your roots. 
come back when civilization started. Oh, no, that, okay, try this, try this. Let's try. 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 Let's try.